after Chosen, which he was born in 2015, I had four more kids. No, I'm sorry. I had three more kids after him because it's a total of five. So it would be Shakira, Chosen. And then once I started with Chosen, it's Stair Steps. So it was every year I was pregnant for four years straight. So I have Chosen, Sovereign Dior, Comitis, and then Kashmir. So yes, it's a total of five. Uh, looking back at it, I say, I, I don't know how I did it, but hey, I love all my kids. And yes, I, I definitely did that. But I was pregnant for four years straight. Yes, which is kind of crazy, but. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to focus on my career and get something going for myself. And then I ended up pregnant with Kashmir. And then that's when I went through a public breakup. And I, and that was that. And then me and my um, partner, we separated. So I'm a single mom of five. Five kids later, people always ask, so oh, why are you, like, what happened with your marriage? Or, like, why are you not in a relationship? And I always say I was never married, but the relationship, I thought it was going towards marriage. And then my partner at the time had an outside baby. And he kind of wanted to force it on me. And I w wasn't really ready to, I mean, I don't really know how to describe this or talk about this. I just, he had a baby outside of our relationship that I was not okay with. And we were not married. So I'm like, if I'm not about to deal with this because I thought this, what we had was something way more special than the way you're treating it. And I felt like I had no choice but to leave. I had to choose me and my kids over what he was about to put me through. So, so here we are. Shalom, thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, today I'm gonna talk about something that is the answer to a lot of this single motherhood. This epidemic and crisis of single motherhood, I've done videos on, uh, you know, seven out of 10 women, you know, 25 and younger have kids. When you think about what this woman was saying in this video about her ex Cam Newton, what she is saying is she thought having his kids would lead to worldly marriage. She thought it would lead to Americanized Western marriage via a marriage license. Listen to what I'm saying. Western Americanized marriage is not the same thing as biblical marriage. Just because you read marriage in the Bible don't think that Western American marriage is anything like that. I've done videos talking about all this stuff is, is, is unbiblical. The wedding rings, a man getting on one knee, all of that is unbiblical, okay? This woman had four kids by Cam Newton. And I'll tell you this, they probably were in a situation to where they were living together. He was coming home to her, she was coming home to him. They were both fulfilling a duty to one another. And she mentions he had a baby outside of their relationship. And that's the reason she walked. And now, not realizing, ain't nobody running up on you because of your good looks and all of this and you got four kids by Cam Newton, there was your man right there. There was your man right there. Okay, let me break this down. When we look at the patriarchs of the Bible, you can't use Messiah. 
who the Christians call Jesus. You can't use Yahushua Hamashiach. He didn't have no wife. Nothing in the book tells you he was entertaining a woman for marriage. He was more interested in your soul salvation and you being able to present yourself without spot or blemish as his bride, him the husband. Mm. You got to think about it. Now, if he wants us to present ourselves without spot or blemish and to present ourselves as a bride, that makes him polygynous. Matter of fact, if you don't believe me as a woman, go read Jeremiah chapter three. Go about halfway down when the Most High Yah calls himself a husband unto two, Israel and Judah. And then you find out that this uh, God that you read in one place hates divorce, you'll find out that he's a divorcee himself. When you look at the patriarchs of the faith, go to Hebrews chapter 11. When you look at the patriarchs of the faith, these were men that had options of having multiple women and could provide for them. Listen to what I'm saying. Could provide for them. Furthermore, when we look at Solomon, Solomon did not get corrected by the Most High Yah for having more than one woman. Solomon had a whole bunch of women. And the Most High Yah did not say nothing to him about having more than one woman. But what you see is the Most High Yah gets on Solomon, rebukes Solomon for the type of women that he chose. Solomon chose idolatrous women, women that worshiped other idols and deities in, instead of the Most High Yah. Think about that. The word says if a man takes him another wife, he must not, you know, forfeit her duty of marriage, her raiment of marriage. The Most High Yah gives instructions for it in the Torah. Okay? A lot of you women are jacked up because you try to operate as a Westerner when the book is Eastern. When the book is not westernized, it's not uh, Americanized, you can't find your marriage license in the book. But when you look at the word consummation, so when a man goes inside of you, that's the consummation of marriage right there. A lot of women play themselves for a piece of paper that's unbiblical. Unbiblical. You walk away from men that you say, oh, he ain't no good, he did this and he did. Why do you think a man has the seeds? Think about this. Why do you think the Most High Yah gave the man the seed? You as a woman, you have the soil. Seeds are supposed to be planted. Now, I'm not advocating for man to just plant seeds and not take care of them. But you got to understand, as a woman, Cam Newton, ex-wife or ex-girlfriend, went from a situation of being provided for, being taken care of. But then there was a mental block of, man, I thought these four kids was going to lead to a paperwork marriage, not him having a baby by another woman. Man, women out here, okay, show me, any women, get in the comments, show me where biblically, a man having more than one woman is sin. Now, what a lot of you are gonna do because you don't know the breakdown of the books of the Bible, you're gonna go to the gospels, you're gonna go to the letters, and you're gonna try to use the writings of Paul to justify your stance. When the word says sin, is the transgression of the law. Paul didn't write law. Paul wasn't given the law by the Most High. Moses was. Proven them first five books of the Bible. Since sin is the transgression of the law and you find out what all is sin in the law and the word says, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. 
So if you want truth and you say you got it, prove in the book where a man having more than one woman is a sin. And if you can't do it, you got a bigger problem. And that's the reason why you struggle. Now I know you're going to have the selfishness of a woman. A woman is going to be selfish, not want to share. And this is why I said it is the it is the answer to all of this single motherhood. It is the answer to all of these single women. You got to think a lot of y'all don't even want to be help meets. So it might take two or three of the modern woman to be worth a damn. It might take two or three of you to be worth a damn. Why? Because y'all always want to be outside the house instead of being a keeper of the house. Doesn't the word say, I would have that the younger women marry, marry first, not have kids, marry first, and then bear children, and then guide the house. For what reason? To give the adversary no reason to speak reproachfully of you. But you tried to do it your way. How'd that work out for you? How'd that work out for you? You gotta think, man, this woman having to do all this stuff on her own in this weekly, bi-weekly schedule, if she submitted to the logic of a man, she'd be covered for the rest of her life. She'd be good. You gotta think, and, and, and this, this mind block that women have of spiritual retardation Think about this. Y'all still be in love with these men, still be fighting for them, don't want nobody else to have them. You say you don't want them, and you could be right back in his good graces if you submitted yourself to his way of thinking. Okay? Why do I say that? Why do you think the Most High Yah says the woman is the weaker vessel? She's the weaker vessel because. She is ruled and controlled by her emotions and her feelings. A man operates based upon logic and reasoning. That's 99% of your communication issues between men and women. You got one coming from emotions and opinions, other one coming from logic. Factual based. A lot of women don't see submissive in its full capacity. See, to be submitted to the Most High Yah, you have to be submitted in your mind. That's why the Most High Yah says he will renew your mind. You got to be submitted to his way of thinking, the Most High Yah's way of thinking. So if the man is the head of the woman, what makes you think in a relationship, you're not going to have to submit yourself to the man's way of thinking? See, I don't be feeling bad for these women because they suffer their own fate. You could, you could be right back in that man's house, your four kids and his other kids, and y'all wouldn't, wouldn't have nothing to say. Y'all wouldn't have the doggone clean as much because it, it's, it's a shared effort. Look at Abraham, Moses, Isaac, Jacob. Look, look, at these, look at these patriarchs of the faith that was counted as righteous by the Most High. None of these people that I named was, was gone to hell, thrown in the lake of fire. No, they was counted as righteous. But a lot of women play themselves, you know, not understanding biblical marriage, not understanding biblical marriage and the word saying, don't cut a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, but you will leave a relationship. And this man, you got, you are forever imprinted and a part of that man's legacy. Having four kids by, he put seed in you four times. Nobody's running up on you to wife you as a woman, and that's, that's the fate you suffer because you chose worldly American Western marriage. You gotta understand, man, uh, I, I, I don't condone a man that cannot take care of his responsibilities to pursue having more than one wife because it, it isn't a, you got more mouths to feed. But there are men out there that have more options to do so, and you cannot find it via the Bible where the ones that I told you that was righteous and had multiple wives was counted as, as sinners because they had more than one wife or more than one woman because a concubine is a, a, a higher status what, than what a lot of these modern women settle for. A concubine is a covered woman. She's just not elevated to the status of a wife. 
Most of the Yah Ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight. Bow.